the 1993 world champion. I imagine he would want a taste of that again here in 96. Well, Jeremy goes bigger than anybody. He's really been troubled by a lot of injuries. And lately he hasn't done well. But I talked to him before the event and he said, Tony, I'm going off. I'm going to break the world record and I'm going to do it today. And there it is with the front flip. Uh, air roll to revert. Jeremy looks very relaxed, very smooth. Look at how far he lands out in the flats. He's got one more trick left. All kinds of time. Little rolly right now. A Mobius. He nails it, and he nails it well. Lands way, way out in the flats. That's a huge pass, and the judges are going to give him a lot of style points. You have got to expect some serious style points on that last trick. That looked super, but from the beginning to the end, he was smooth as butter. Yeah, look at that handle pass. Really clean handle pass. Delays it a little bit and just nails the Mobius. Just under 10,000 in the first pass, but if he wants to be king of the wakeboard here in Altamont Springs, pass number two behind the Mastercraft is going to be critical. Jeremy Kovac has a clear chance to beat Dean LaBelle. He's got a good chance at the world record also if he can put it together here. Huge rally. That is not in his trick pass. That is just a transitional maneuver as he does an air front flip. Jeremy Kovac pulling out all the stops here. He does the air Mobius. Oh, my. Jeremy switches the board to switch stance. Oh, Jeremy goes down on the switch stance Mobius. That's got to be disappointing. He was right there on a world record pace, and he goes down. Nice air Mobius, though. And then carving back into the wake here. Does not quite get enough air. Lands a little bit short. Not enough rotation. Cannot grab the handle and goes down. Well, Jeremy said on the way in, I'm going for it. I want a world record, but it did cost him in the end a terrible second pass. He will come in actually just over 16,000.